Build Better More po under the DPWH po. Ah. Ano, Build Better More? Or Build Back More po. Build Build, build better, better more. more. Ah, yes, build more. back more, pwede rin. <laughs> okay. Yung DP, DPWH core programs po, uh, much of it po is for asset uh, preservation program po, maintenance and rehabilitation and reconstruction of roads, network development programs po to expand the connectivity and road systems across the country. We also have the bridge program po, construction and maintenance and repair of bridges, and yung mga convergence programs po natin with uh, Department of Tourism, uh, DepEd, DA, and DTI. And uh, related po dun sa Build Better More program natin, which is an expansion of the Build, Build, Build program, our programs po under the DOTR, which I also mentioned um, earlier. Of course, kasama din po dito yung mga social infrastructure that we're going to construct po under the uh, yung sa BESF po for Department of Education, our classrooms, and for the Department of Health po, yung ating mga health uh, facilities po that we're going to construct next year po. We will also support shovel-ready infrastructure projects with 1.2 trillion under the Build Better More program to propel growth in agriculture, trade, and tourism sectors, and eventually reduce transport and logistics costs. In line with this, the Department of Transportation will receive a budget of 167.1 billion or equivalent to 120.4 percent increase over the previous year's level. Meanwhile, the, De Public, the Department of Public Works and Highways or the DPWH will receive 718.4 billion in 2023 for its banner programs such as the Asset Preservation Program with 88.5 billion, network development program with 140.4 billion, and the bridges program, 38 billion, among others. The 39.2 percent po, it's the total increase of the agriculture sector. Uh, the higher allocation po is because uh, we provided uh, enough funds for the rice program, corn program, fisheries program, and even the high value crops uh, development program. As also mentioned, the DOTR po will also have an increase of 120.4 billion. The increase po is basically to fund the core programs of DOTR. Ito po yung LRT Line 1 Cavite Extension Program, MRT Manila, Metro Manila Subway Project po, PNR South Long Haul Project, North and South Commuter Railway, MRT3 Rehabilitation Program. Kasama din po dito yung Land Public Transportation Program, the EDSA Busway Project, EDSA Greenways Project, Cebu BRT Project, and the Fuel Subsidy Program po for our public transport drivers.